The Arthrix Minimally Invasive Bunionectomy offers a guided trajectory system to achieve and maintain correction and accurately place hardware for MIS bunion correction. Included in the system are beveled FT screws. Designed specifically for minimally invasive bunion correction, these screws provide a zero-profile construct with a 45-degree beveled head and non-compressive threads to help maintain length. Larger cannulation allows for more robust instrumentation to limit cortical skiving upon insertion. To begin the procedure, mark the bony anatomy and midline of the metatarsal. Make a stab incision on the midline of the metatarsal, just proximal to the sesamoid complex. Use the periosteal elevator to free the soft tissues at the osteotomy site. Insert the 2.0 by 19.5 mm burr through the incision at the midline of the metatarsal through both cortices. For the transverse osteotomy, complete the dorsal portion of the cut first, followed by the plantar portion. Arthrix recommends continuous use of irrigation while performing the cut. Insert the shifting device by placing the hook into the intermedullary canal. Apply any rotational correction that may be needed prior to inserting the guide wire through the shifting device. Ensure that the tip of the guide wire terminates at the lateral cortex. Turn the knob on the shifting device clockwise to shift the capital fragment laterally. Slide the guide over the capital fragment guide wire and tighten knob 1 such that the top of the knob is flush with the thickest laser line. With the first K-wire sleeve in the most proximal slot, slide the guide proximally and tighten knob 2 based on the desired entry point for the proximal K-wire. Insert a second K-wire sleeve into the most distal slot of the guide, ensuring contact at the drawn midline of the metatarsal. Advance a K-wire through the sleeve and confirm bone purchase. This K-wire serves as temporary proximal fixation to align the guide to the metatarsal. Make a stab incision at the site where the proximal K-wire sleeve contacts the skin. Slide the sleeve down to bone, ensuring that the bevel of the sleeve parallels the metatarsal. Advance a K-wire through this sleeve, traversing both cortices before entering the capital fragment. Remove the temporary guide wire and shift the second K-wire sleeve distal to the first, being sure to skip at least one slot. With a stab incision, advance the sleeve down to bone in a similar fashion to the first sleeve. Advance a K-wire through the sleeve for the distal screw placement. Using the depth gauge, record the measured screw length from the laser marking on the guide wire. Remove the depth device, leaving the drill guide in place, and insert the cannulated drill over the proximal guide wire. Ensure that the drill is advanced over the complete length of the screw into the capital fragment. Remove the drill sleeve and insert the appropriate length 4.0 mm screw over the proximal guide wire. With fluoroscopic assistance, confirm that the bevel of the screw aligns with the surface of the metatarsal. Repeat the measure, drill, and insertion steps for the distal screw. Two 4.0 mm screws or two 3.5 mm beveled FT screws can be used. Final adjustments to screw placement may be made by hand. Once both screws have been placed, Remove the guide and shifting device. An echinosteotomy is also recommended for this procedure for complete correction. Finally, if necessary, this bone shelf is removed with a burr or rasp. The Arthrix Minimally Invasive Bunionectomy System provides the hardware and instrumentation to help surgeons achieve precision alignment and accurate screw placement during minimally invasive bunion correction.